The femoral triangle is an area located on the upper anterior medial thigh and is a passage for a number of key structures that run through it on their way into and out of the leg. It's also a frequently questioned area during your anatomy exams and beyond. Today we're going to cover the borders and contents of the femoral triangle. I'm Dr. Connor Boylan and welcome to More Than Skin Deep. First, let's get oriented to what we're looking at. This is the top of the leg, with the bones of the pelvis here, and the femur here. This is the lateral side, and this is the medial side. Finally, this is the pubic tubercle of the pelvis, and this is the anterior superior iliac spine, or ACES. Running from the ACES to the pubic tubercle is a very important structure known as the inguinal ligament. This will come up time and again in your anatomy studies, but today we're going to learn it as the superior border of the femoral triangle. The lateral border of the femoral triangle is formed from the medial part of the longest muscle in the body, the strap-like sartorius. This muscle's name comes from an interesting origin. If you know it, why don't you let us know in the comments? The sartorius also originates from the asis and travels across and down the leg to insert into the medial upper tibia. The medial border of the femoral triangle is formed at the medial border of the adductor longus muscle, where it runs from the anterior pubis to about midway down the posterior femur. Those are the main borders of the femoral triangle. The last two parts to be aware of are the floor, which is formed of parts of the pectineus, iliopsoas, and adductor longus muscles, and the roof, which is formed of fascia and skin. There are loads of ways to remember the borders of the femoral triangle, but a common and easy one is using the mnemonic SAIL, which stands for sartorius, adductor longus, and inguinal ligament. Now, even more important than the borders of the femoral triangle are its contents. This time we're going to consider them from lateral to medial. The most lateral structure in the femoral triangle is the femoral nerve. This runs down the outer part of the femoral triangle and splits into three parts towards its bottom. The anterior cutaneous branches, which supply skin. The muscular branches, which supply muscles in the anterior and medial thigh. And the saphenous nerve, which follows the femoral artery and travels downwards to eventually meet up with the great saphenous vein in the leg. The next structure is the femoral artery. This originates from the external iliac artery and supplies most of the blood to the lower limb. The femoral artery produces a number of important branches in the femoral triangle, but the main ones to be aware of are the superficial epigastric artery, which travels upwards to supply part of the abdominal wall, and the superficial circumflex iliac artery, which supplies the lower abdominal wall, and the deep femoral or profunda femoris artery, which travels downwards into the deep thigh. Next on our journey medially is the large femoral vein. This is a continuation of the popliteal vein, which we covered in our previous video and will eventually become the external iliac vein. Like the femoral artery, the femoral vein receives several tributaries in the femoral triangle. The main ones to be aware of are the superficial epigastric vein, the superficial circumflex iliac vein, the deep femoral vein, and the great saphenous vein. The great saphenous vein is a large superficial vein which pierces the overlying fascia at the saphenous opening and drains straight into the femoral vein. You remember this is all very similar to how the small saphenous vein joins the popliteal vein lower down. The last structure to be aware of in the femoral triangle is the femoral canal, which is a potential space surrounded by connective tissue that contains lymph nodes and can be compressed during expansion of the femoral vein. It's worth being aware of because it's a common site for hernias to form in. We'll cover it more in a future video. An easy way to remember these structures and the order they go in is using the mnemonic NAVI, which stands for nerve, artery, vein, and wifrance, aka underwear. And there we go. That's the borders and contents of the femoral triangle. I'll leave a door on the screen a little longer for you to take in. I'll be releasing loads more videos covering the various anatomical regions of the body, so please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out. In the meantime, I hope you learned something and have a great day.